The new 18-cylinder turbocharged Deltic boasted 3,100 horsepower, doubling the power-to-weight ratio of its rivals. Great for the Navy's high-speed boats. And just maybe, it could solve the problem of replacing steam with a fast, powerful diesel locomotive. In the late 50s, Napier's parent company, English Electric, unveiled their Deltic-powered prototype, the DP-1. This British Rail Class 55 locomotive is the production version. And right now, I'm going to have the opportunity to drive this icon of British engineering. I'll be under the expert tuition of Mike Hallam Rudd, who spent nearly three decades preserving Deltic locos. Oh, yes. The engines are nearly 50 years old, so Mike's kindly letting me prime the oil. 80 strokes on that pump, and that's, that's adequate to do it. So while you do that, I'm going for a cup of tea. 80 strokes on the... OK, I'll see you next year, then. That's one stroke. That's two strokes. Muscles. 38, 39, 40. Oh. 73, 74, 75. I won't have any strength to drive the actual thing. <coughs> OK, Chris, that'll do fine, thank you. Great. Finally, the moment of truth. around to engine only, locomotive brake on, train brake to running. OK. You're now ready to roll. And I'm ready to go. Into forward. Eight miles an hour, ten miles an hour. Hundred and six tons on the move here. Just a little bit of juice, that's all we gave it. The magnificent Deltics gave Britain its first regular 100 mile per hour diesel passenger service. Effortlessly slashing an hour off the run from London to Edinburgh. Move over steam. Looks like diesel's here to stay. For me, the Class 55 was a true concord of the railway system. Eventually, the brilliant Deltic was replaced by improved conventional diesel locos. But this masterpiece of British ingenuity saved the railways in their time of need and changed the course of transport history. Even today, 60% of our railway network still uses diesel locomotives. Thanks to those incredible engines, Diesels were clearly no short-term stopgap. 